In this video I'm going to show you how you can enable the new Microsoft Teams client in your organization. So what is the new Teams client? Well the new Teams client that's been released by Microsoft is in preview mode at the moment. Um, it's up to two times faster than the old client. It uses 50% less memory than the old client. It also consumes up to 70% less disk space than the old client. You can have multiple accounts or organisations logged into the same one, so no more signing out and signing back in to switch between accounts. And it's also easier for IT admins to deploy, um, rather than having the per user install like it currently is. Um, this one can be deployed by the MSIX package, so you can easily deploy it with Intune and update it using your update policies. There is a few limitations already. Uh, been identified by Microsoft so the, it is in preview mode there is bugs you will see that um, one of them you can't install or uninstall any apps in the new teams yet so if you use apps in teams you can't add them or uninstall them you'll have to use the classic version for it to work and um, there's no option to add channel calendar to your channels and there's also no breakout rooms if you're using it for video calls and there is increased power usage during calls and it can cause CPU throttling. So these are the ones that they've identified now. Obviously it is in beta mode so there will be issues. Um, I wouldn't advise pushing it out to all, all your PCs yet but this is how you can do it if you want certain users to be able to test it out. It's also not available for education customers at the moment. Um, the Teams for Edu has a lot more features so they're obviously still working on a few bugs and how to make it better with the new Teams client. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is go to your Teams Admin Center. Um, so we're going to go to the Teams Admin Center now. So I'm in the Teams Admin Center now, um, but I'm just going to show you the Teams client that I've got open here. So I'm currently signed into a testing account. It's the original classic Teams uh, application. So I'm going to quickly minimize that. You want to head over to the Teams on the left hand side and go down to Teams Update Policies. In here you should have the global which is your organization wide default one which will be empty. We click add, give it a new name like new teams and then down here you've got use new teams client so here you can choose Microsoft controlled so that will be released whenever Microsoft decide it's ready to be pushed out based on their um, update policies. Uh, you can stop it from being enabled if you wanted to um, but here you can choose users can choose so this will give the option for the user to choose the new client so we'll click apply so now that's done we need to go in and click assign users so here I'm just going to find my uh, testing account so we're going to add Terry there click apply it does say it might take some time to take effect and we want to head back down into teams As you can see it's come across uh, pretty much instantly there, we've got the new option to try Teams. So we'll flick that on. Teams will now close itself down and reopen itself in the preview mode. So now we have it, we've got the new Teams client installed. Um, obviously the UI looks very similar, just a bit more modern. Um, but you can easily switch. When you do switch over for the first time, it probably will download it straight away. Um, take a couple of minutes to download and it'll instantly install itself and pop open. But if you want to turn it back, you can simply toggle it on and off. Once you toggle it off, the old client will re reload itself back up. Obviously not as fast. It takes a lot longer to load up than the new client. And that's it. That's how you do it.